Hi there, Jess in the Rated Kitchen. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to make a delicious pasta dish. This is a garlic and chili pepper infused cauliflower and sweet bell pepper rigatoni. Let's go ahead by start prepping our peppers. So we are going to be using a sweet yellow pepper and an orange pepper. My yellow pepper was huge, so I'm only going to need to use about half of that. And we're gonna go ahead and julienne. And I've removed, of course, the seeds and the stem. And onto our orange pepper. Now for a red onion, I'm just gonna take the blossom and the end off. Cut it in half and just slice it. So here I have about half a head's worth of cauliflower and I've just broken it apart as much as I can. And then what I'm going to do is come back in with my paring knife and kind of section off some long skinny pieces so it looks nice and uniform in our pot. And you can make them as big or little as you like. Now for our garlic, I'm just gonna smash these cloves up and come back over with my knife. So here in my pan, I have a fourth a cup of refined coconut oil. Now you could use olive oil or any other kind that you like. To this, I'm gonna add that chopped garlic and about a fourth of a teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes. If you like things a little spicier, you can go on ahead and add a little bit more. Give that a stir. And we're gonna saute these for just a few minutes. So over medium high heat, we're gonna caramelize all of our vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cauliflower and those peppers and onions. So our vegetables are getting this nice, pretty brown caramelization on them. And to this, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of our vegan chicken base, and then continue to stir. So here we have our rigatoni that we have cooked and drained and allowed to cool, and I'm gonna set that off to the side. And with my parsley, just give it a quick chop. About a cup's worth is what I have here. So let's transfer all of that chopped parsley into our bowl with our noodles. Slide this over and all of those delicious vegetables are gonna go right on top. You can see they have that pretty color. There we go. And this actually is going to be served at room temperature after we toss it with the rest of ingredients. Final few ingredients are grated Parmesan and Romano cheese, some black pepper, some salt, and I'm just using sea salt here. And you can re-season this at the end after you give it all a good toss, which I'm going to do with my Rada non-scratch spoon. So pretty. And you could add some um, extra virgin olive oil at this point or some melted coconut oil. And then we're gonna top it all off with our breadcrumbs. And I've actually toasted these. And just make sure you're stirring all the way from the bottom up. So here we have our heaping bowl of garlicky goodness. We have our sweet bell peppers, our cauliflower tossed with some olive oil and that rigatoni, our salty Parmesan cheese and our whole wheat breadcrumbs just to give it a little crunch at the end. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check us out at ratedcutlery.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can get more great recipes like this one.